right, um, all right, this is GEJ6357A, Operating Manual, General Electric Locomotive, Diesel, New new Series Diesel Electric Locomotive, Model B307A, Cab List, General Electric Operating Manual, New Series Diesel Electric Locomotive, Model B37A, Cab List. This instruction does not um, purport cover all the details, variation of equipment to provide with the, every possible contingency to be met with the connection, installation, operation, maintenance. Should further information be desired, should be practical problems that which are not covered sufficiently, the purchase prices, purposes, purchaser's purpose for the must be um, the matter should be referred to the General Electric Company. Varying numbers of the parts and tools, materials used for the renewal parts of the total catalogs contained with the General Electric representative assistant do not order the publication of General Electric. Um, Contents. Let's see if we can get this zoom to page level. No. Uh, let's try 125. No. 150 maybe. All right. Um. General data operating controls. Introduction. Diesel engine control. Governor engine control panel. Battery switch. Device design engine control or EC panel. Miscellaneous controls and unit. And now, uh, initiator panel, um, memory functions, preparation for operation before boarding a locomotive, after boarding a locomotive, starting the engine, cold weather engine, start up, warm up, um, warm up, engine overspeed in 1983, model of diesel engine, overspeed, overspeed, shutdown, overspeed, reset, overspeed, other system features, air equipment, air equipment, and type, t type 26F, control valve, cutout cocks, adjusting valves, automatic alarm, and safeguards, circuit breakers, colored indicating lights, bells, indicating lights on the E electro, um, on the, uh, Engine control panel, barrier over switch, engine over sh speed shut down, gauges, measuring devices, pressure and temperature gauges, other gauges, procedure, pro um, pro operating procedure, passing through water, passing over the railroad crossings, stopping the engine's contents, or uh, draining, cooling water system, uh, multiple unit operation, operation, trailing locomotive to operate with other types of locomotive, modulating engine control, governor flow charts, 54. All right, you have the model of B37A, the type A, our symbol of BB, horsepower 3,000 diesel engine, GEFDL12, number of cylinders 12, full speed on 1050 RPMs, um, idle speed 445, 450 RPMs, low 385 RPMs, main al alternator F5GTA24, traction miles 5, GE752A5, number 4, type DC series, wound wheel diameter 40 inches, major dimension. Um, length 61 feet 2 inches width 11 uh, 119 inches height of 14 foot 11 inches length between bolster centers 37 feet 2 inches truck weight wheel base um truck wheel base 108 inches minimum curve Locomotive alone, 150 feet or 39 feet. Couple to the train, 250 feet, 23 or to 23 feet. Minimum of 20, weight typical, um, weight typical in pound. Minimum of 253,000 pounds. Maximum 280,000 pounds. Supply fuel capacity, 30,250 gallons. Lubricating oil, 300 gallons. Cooling water, 335 gallons. Governing uh, governor oil, two quarts. Sand, four, 60 cubic feet. Center of gravity, surface in 61.86 in, in inches off the rail. Unturned. 64.53 inches off rail horsepower notch 100 um, 1 100 rpms notch 2 180 rpms notch 3 430 rpms notch 4 730 rpms notch 5 1440 rpms uh, or how horsepower is notice notice um notch 6 1930 um Horsepower, not seven twenty five hundred 2500 um, horsepower notch 8 3900 horsepower all right, operation, uh, or, sorry, operation control, operating controls. Introduction, General Electric Company with the model B37A, cabless diesel electric locomotives, illustrated in figure one and two. It's equipped with a turbocharger with the 12 cylinders, GE FDL 12 diesel engine with drive the main alternator, the electrical power from the alternator is rectified, distributed to four traction motors with the lower control compartment, each with its four traction motors, gear lead directed with the player over the driving wheels. The ratio is um, the 83 to 20 gear ratio with the traction motor to the wheel axle to determine the maximum operating speed, 70 miles per hour. Four traction motors are connected, um, Permanently in parallel, the main alternators to the two outputs, the 0, 31 miles per hour. The alternate outputs are connected in parallel. 
for motor, more star, starting current uh, above 31 miles an hour alternator, alternator outputs are connected to the series of high voltage high speed operation figure 1 shows the B37A capitalist 1982 model and um, um, this shows the figure 2 shows the B37A capitalist model 1983 model The locomotive is designed to use in multiple trail locomotive only. When they couple together the multiple leads, you, um, the unit receives all the control commands from the lead locomotive through the jumper cable to the lead of the locomotive. The number of the holster station operating air brake control the emergency air brake valve located inside the door to the engine control panel um, or EC panel room and handbrake is provided with the location apparatus drawing C figure 3A of the 1982 model and 3B of the 1983 model. Uh, this shows the... Um, Short hood, long hood engine, um, and then it goes through. One is your engine, uh, GE Model 75. All right, engine one is the engine governor. Um, engine two is the alternator. Three is the auxiliary generator. Four is the exciter. Five is the rectifiers. Six is the contactor. Seven the engine mufflers. Eight the turbocharger. Nine the preliminary air filters. Ten secondary um, engine air filters. Ten, Eleven engine water tanks. Twelve the fluid amplifiers. Thirteen radiators. Fourteen radiator fan. Eddy current clutch. Fifteen radiator fan. Gear unit. Seven sixteen air compressor. Seventeen braking grids. Eighteen equipment blower. Nineteen equipment air filters. Twenty air duct. 21 fuel tank, 22 fuel filler, 23 main air reserves, 24 trucks, 25 stand box, 20, um, 25 sand fill, 26 sand box, 27 sand trap enclosures, 28 low control compartment, up to 29 upper control compartment, 230 air brake equipment compartment, 31 beta battery box, 32 engine control panel, 33 battery switch, 34 handbrake, 35 emergency brake valve, 36 low oil fuel filter housing, 37 lube oil filter housing, location apparatus 1982 model. Uh, this is your um, location apparatus 1983 metal engine alternator auxiliary generator ex 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 um, four exciter five rectifier six contactor seven magnetic lock for eight turbocharger nine unlimited primary engine air filters ten secondary engine air filters eleven engine water tank twelve fluid amplifiers thirteen radiators fourteen radiator fan and eddy current clutch fifteen radiator fan gear unit seventeen air sixteen air compressor seventeen brake grids eighteen equipment blower nineteen equipment air filters ten, twenty air ducts 21 fuel tank, 22 fuel filter, 22 3 main air reserve, 24 trucks, 25 sand fill, 26 sandbox, 27 sand trap enclosures, 28 low control compartment, 29 in the upper control compartment, 30 air brake equipment compartment, 31 breeder battery box, 32 engine control panel, 33 battery switch, 34 handbrake, 35 number of the head box, headlight box, 26 governor, 137 emergency brake valve, 38 lube oil filter housing, 139 lube oil cooler housing. Uh, when multiple units with the controlling logo of the engine speed schedule is in the mounting final. The idle one, the engine notch one, 450 to 453 RPMs of the 1982 model. Or 450 for idle and 450 for our notch one. Idle two, um, 521 to 549 engine RPM for the 90, 1982 and 536 for the 1983. Locomotive idle three, engine notch four, um, 704 to 712, 705 RPMs for the um, engine RPMs. Locomotive idle four, um, engine notch five, 758 to 788 engine model 1983, um, 1982, 1983, 765 engine idle number five, locomotive, um, engine notch six, 876 to 884, 879 RPMs for 1983 and six, uh, idle locomotive idle six, notch six, 876 to 884, engine RPM in 1983, 19, uh, 879, a locomotive idle seven, and engine notch seven. 962 to 980 engine RPMs of the 1982, 964 for the engine RPMs of 1983. And locomotive idle uh, 8, engine notch 8, 1,409 to 1,057 engine RPMs of 1982 and 1,050 for the engine 1983. The engine control switch for the summer isolated low idle position, then idle speed of 450 RPMs for the 1983 model. For the engine switch in the winter isolated high idle position, the idle speed is 750 RPMs or notch 3. When dynamic braking engine speed depends upon the amount of current in the braking grid, 0 to 450 to 449 grid amps. In the 1982 vintage model engine to idle and 1983 engine idle. 450 to 574 grid amps engine notch 5 in 1982 and engine idle in 1983. 
Fuel of 75, 722, grid AMS, engine notch 8 for the 1982, and engine notch 5 for the grid um, 1983, 85. 83 vintage diesel engine control governor the diesel engine control governor primarily function for the maintained speed the diesel engine is called for by the throttle handle not setting for the control locum over the engine rpm maintain the fuel range of the load the governor also monitor the engine or water procedures pressures and will modulate modulate the load and engine speed with the necessary but it shut down the engine with the pressure should be fell below fell below the press preset limit to indicate the manifold air pressure um also monitored and governor will limit the fuel available to the engine air pressure below the required commute complete combustion all right, your engine control panel, figure four, engine control panel is located at the rear wall of the utility cab at the same location on all general electric locomotive. The C figure 3A and 3B with the details mounted to the panel, rear switches, circuit breakers, operating de devices during the locomotive operation, battery switch, location for the battery switch is right over the engine control panel behind the hinge door with the fin finger pull open hole with opens. Device on the engine control panel, engine control panel switch, figure five, the engine control switch, isolation switch has four positions, run, winter isolating, high idle, summer isolating, low idle, Idle and storm, start, um, storm, start normal idle alarm, alarm off. The engine start button located in the start station is only effective when the engine control switch is in the start position. Or this show of the um, figure four show of the engine control panel um, show the, uh, the right there and the uh, the dot then pass down to the engine control panel battery switch and battery charge hit resistor behind the screen. Um, Figure 5 shows the engine control switch nameplate is also in the same dotted area place for the engine control where it starts as um, in the switch goes from run um, run to winter idle switch um, positive um, summer idle switch and then positive start normal alarm off switch. With the engine control panel switch to run or isolate the alarm rings for 30 seconds for the function which causes the engine to go to idle alarm rings continuously if the engine shuts down sounds alarm turning and the engine control switch to start. Or when the engine is starting with the, is running with the engine control switch is in the start and isolated position. Engine speed is high idle and power control up high with the locomotive. With the engine idle with the locomotive is to be operated with the engine control switch is must be moved to the run position. When the engine is running with the engine control like engine control panel switch is either isolated position engine speed as idle or power cannot be applied to the locomotive. The alarm bell will be sounded continuously with the fault occurs that shut off the engine down. Will shut well, that will shut the engine down. The fault occurs if uh, that takes all, all the unit offline, but does not shut down the diesel engine. The alarm bell will ring for 30 seconds. All right, your multiple unit headlight setup switch. The multiple unit headlight setup switch um, has three positions. Position switch determine the location of the locomotive of the unit consistent whether the front of the rear of the locomotive is trailing switch position or follows. Mid unit place the switch in position of all locomotives operated with except the lead of the trail locomotive short hood trail trailing unit. The place the switch in position when the frail final trailing unit is connected with the short hood trails. Long hood trail trailing unit place the switch in position with the final trailing unit. Is in connected so long hood trails. See figure three A and three B of the details. All right, figure three, um, figure six, multiple head unit sw setup switch nameplate. Um, show the multiple dot in the multiple head and through an arrow to multiple headlight setup switch. Trailing unit, short hood trail, long hood trail, middle unit, middle unit trail. Okay. Um, next you figure figure seven with the engine control panels. Um, figure circuit breakers on the engine control panel with the following circuit, uh, circuit breakers located in the engine control panel left to right is faith. The numbers indicated reference from six. Okay, so we'll be from one to top. So if it goes across to the left to right on the way to the from the top left corner, you have battery charger control, eddy current clutch, unit, unit dynamic braking, locomotive local control, excitation fuel pump, running lights. This breaker must be left on. Um, this breaker star means the um, the control, which also this means the control breaker must be left on when the unit will be left with the running lights itself. Sure, the engine shutdown is fault occurs. The engine switches with the push buttons are located at the engine control panel switch. 19 through 20, 12, 15 are the control crosswalk light switch, control compartment light switch, step light switch, front class light switch, rear class light switch, engine stop push button, air filter fuel pump, hot diode, open motor reset push button, following indication lights located with the engine control panel with the ground relay trip, the overload relay trip, no battery charge, self loaded, engine over speed of 1983 model only, 21 blank, 22 over engine over temperature, 23 blank, 24 governor shut down, 25 crankcase over pressure, 26 engine air filter. 27 hot diodes and the following devices are located in the engine control panel engine control panel switch EC and the multiple headlight unit and load meter miscellaneous controls 
Handbrake located outside of the short door of the figure 3 and A and the A and B for the emergency brake valve of the hand located by the right side of the door pulling the handle cause for the emergency brake application dropping the powers emergency fuel cut off system in the emergency one of the four electrical push buttons that may be depressed monetarily to cut off the whole off fuel delivery and shut down the engine one of the one of these buttons is located on each side of the locomotive under the frame near the fuel tank third button is the engine stop is located by the engine control panel the fourth button is the engine stop is located on the start station the stop buttons on the engine control panel on the start station station or you the normal incident engine shutdown. No. Emergency cutoff buttons are you the shut off down the engine with the oh, and the locomotive only. The shutdown position with the throttle handle with the master control of the cab unit will shut down the engines on all units over that consistent simultaneously. Alright, this shows you figure not A shows the in and in, in initiate area in um panel. So the open mo top from the top, open motor crankcase, open pressure engine, paper filter, low oil pressure, low water pressure, low boil temperature general and generator overload, ground re relay hot dial is reduced excitation, grade cooling and single phase with lamp test and memory erase. The initiator panel, remember, the initiator panel is strictly in the memory device with the only for the in form of the co-alified troubleshooter for the currency that have been happened with the local, on the local mobile operating, operating the memory ease switch for the only turn off of the plan for the initiator panel will not reset the function of the local mobile do not operate the memory array so unless the cause of the indication has been located and corrected. The following checks and inspections should be made in accordance with the railroad rules. Before boarding, locomotive inspection broke work and were worn loose over the dragging parts, brake rigging, brake shoes, wheels, traction motor, communicators, covers, and etc. <coughs> Do check the engine, cool water, fuel, oil, lube, oil, air, leaks for the locomotive may be present. Ensure all the drain and cutout cocks are properly positioned. Ensure proper connection for the air hose, electrical jumper, cable check for the fuel cell, apply on the fuel tank side, glass for the gauge. After boarding locomotive, in the ensure of the rag and tools, etc., have been removed from the moving of the parts, electrical equipment, check for the diesel engine, lubricating oil supply, oil should indicate the fuel for the measuring gauge for the engine idle and the diesel engine shut down on the oil level to indicate it with above the fuel mark with the measuring gauge the disc fabric is located on both boy side of the gauge is moved from marked from low to fuel low and full. Check the drain back with the valve C with its fully closed in figure nine. Figure nine shows the um, lube oil system drains. All right, show the circle, show the A for the, A would be your crankcase drain valve, B would be your filter color for cooler drain valve, and C is actually your filter drain back valve. Preparation for operation unit, engine governor only, 19, engine governor 1982 model. Show the middle section of the uh, top of the um, sectional view, over, over, oil fill, governor oil filters, oil level, slip, side glass, oil drains, oil overload, speed link. From the middle, also right behind the governor, um, right by the governor, you see the um, engine governor, uh, governor oil level, the lay, lay shift, shaft, pull the reset, push start, over speed pressure switch. All right, check for the governor oil supply cycle life for the governor should be full of the oil with the, of oil and after the engine start with the oil level must be near the mark on the cycle last and figure 10A and 10B. Check the air compressor for lubricating oil supply. The pro proper oil level is indicated in the dipstick near the oil fill cap in figure 11. The oil figure in 11 shows that on the other rear end of the train, you have the air compressor with the oil level dipstick, oil fill, and the oil filter, oil drain valve. Um, check the cooling water supply. Be sure the water drain valve is closed in figure 21. Uh, note that all full fold, fold down steps are provided to reach the water filler cap. Check the fan gear unit oil level is let up to the spill over the fill of the pipe with the engine is shut down figure 12. Figure 12 shows the fan gear unit with the um, oil fill and the oil drain above the top of the um, back side of the locomotive. Preparation of the, for the operation. Check the lubricating oil with the generator with the dipstick mark from the empty add full with the proper level between add and full mark. The check for the diesel engine overspeed the device is reset with the figure 14 model with the delay shaft. Pull to ensure the device is reset. Check the engine bearing over to the uh, over device is removed from the engine and over the mount in figure 14. 10 check the following cutout cocks are open air compressor governor key control air 11 move the engine control switch to start 12 properly move, um, position the multiple heads in the selector switch start engine figures 15a and 15b. One perform operation before boarding locomotive and after board locomotive section. If the, um, if the engine has been stopped with a consideration period of time, the cylinder should be cleared of the fuel and water accumulation before starting the engine. Proceed as follows. If the engine bearing over the device back off of the compression, relieve the plug to the left side of each of the cylinder. 
which is shown in the 13 show of the traction generator gear unit with this um, show of the oil fill, oil level, and oil um, dipstick and oil drain. Rotate the engine level to the complete revolution. You put the engine bearing over device. Remove the bearing, bearing over device from the engine. Lightly tie all the compression relief plugs before cranking. Note that cover the bearing over feature must be securely mounted, otherwise the engine cannot be cranked. Two close to the bearing switch to located with the auxiliary cab engine, but on the engine control panel, check with the governing shutdown light with the other power lighting indications are not on. Thus, cover the faults with it must be cleared before proceeding. Check with the close, close with the following circuit breakers within the engine control panel. Battery change, charger control, eddy current with the dynamic unit. Unit dynamic braking, local control, excitation, fuel pump, running lights. Control um, the start means running starting engine. The circuit breaker locomotive consists of starting engine one at a time. Close the control circuit breaker within um, on the control locomotive only. Push the fuel pump reset button and allow the fuel pump to run a few seconds until the fuel cycle lasts before starting the engine. That is also the control that follows the control circuit breaker. Um, um, figure 14 have to do over speed governor's reset with the bearing over switch. Uh, in the middle start is the over speed reset engine over speed governor and the bearing over switch. Um, also in the front, um, behind the governor would be the crankcast over spread, over, spread, over pressure switch, your start station, fuel pump, reset, engine start, so engine start, stop right, and return fuel side glass. Um, no, do not reset the until the cause of the problem has been corrected. Also in the menu, on the other side of the, um, the uh, start station, you see the um, lay shaft pull set, um, reset, push to start, crankcase over pressure switch, fuel testing fitting, fuel pump start, engine start, engine stop, and right turn fuel sight glass, do not reset the until the case for the problem has been controlled 1983 model. Now, when the fuel is being fuel, first be observed, the cycle is not running with the general electric um, engine. The fuel will take clear after the engine start, but the fuel will turn with the murky color. This is to be considered normal. Push the engine start button with the push and the half of the travel delay shift until the engine start. Note if the proper engine loop of the oil pressure does not build up, the approximately 40 seconds of the governor will shut off the fuel, preventing the engine from starting. Refer to the pressure and temperature gauge section. Caution: Do not charge the battery successfully with the preheat of the amps of the start with the first two of the three. But not try for successfully recheck the starting procedure. Cold weather engine won't start up and starting in warm up. During the cold weather condition, when locomotive is shut down for the period of time, special attention must be given to the engine start up and warm up to avoid the equipment of failure to the thermal overload train. To avoid the start up, the engine speed submitted the speed must be limited no later than notch three when until the water tank temperature has reached 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Diesel engine overspeed. A new overspeed shutdown system shown in figure 10B and 1015B of the 1983 standard general electric diesel engine. Um, the operating principle remains the same, that the length of the beneath of the governor extends to the fuel shut off fuel with the cylinder of the engine speed too high. The main feature of the new system is the engine cranking time is greatly reduced. The fuel pumping rack may move quickly to starting position. No delay with the overspeed length does not have to be pumped up and compressed into the fuel on position earlier models. Another feature of the lay shaft and lever which have the two functions. One of these is to reset the overspeed length for the overspeed shut down. The lever must be also used to move, provide the more fuel for the cylinders during the cranking as desired. Note the location of the, the lever presents an inadvertent manual over speeding with the engine beyond with the tripping setting when the device tripped the manual control with the fuel racks has eliminated the previous overspeeding system it was possible to override the speed link when after a trip then continuing to control the fuel racks manually this is only the overspeed governor with the automatic reset feature there is no other no reset button on the after overspeed with the trim of the governor reset with an inter internally about 600 rpms overspeed shut down when the overspeed governor tripped the dumps over the oil pressure of the actuator oil pressure with the immediately lowered overspeed lighting so the spirit snaps open the fuel racks get um go to zero. Overspeed reset. The system allows the manual resetting with the overspeed link with the beaming pull, the, uh, pulling over the lay shaft with the, over the overspeed with the spring with the compressor with the actuator pin re-engaged with the overspeed link. Other system features. Oil from the overspeed governor circulates through the chamber to keep the actuator warm with the cold weather. The relief of the valve of the oil line will allow the small amount of the oil to flow back into the crankcase and engine oil split pressure switch. It's also included in purpose of the indicated no oil pressure in the, in, to the actuator leading with the engine overspeed lap of the engine control panel since the system demands depends on the rapid pre rapid pressure drop developing into the actuator in order to function the absence of the oil pressure would result in an overspeed protection. The oil pressure switch is op open between 130 PSI and the event with the two overspeed switch shut down continuous alarm would be trained due to, you know, not to um, battery charging also but the engine system monitor light will come on how if, how if there is some system fault the oil pressure of the actuator for any of the reason the engine would start with the running idle but could be not hold load in the case of alarm would be trained in, train lined in 30 seconds. 
Airbrake equipment to modify the 26F system, which control the valves and is arranged for the multiple unit operation as a trailer unit only for the lo of this on this locomotive. The principal parts are as follows. Type 26F control valve of the valve is located with the airbrake compartment. When they actuate the chain for the pressure for the brake pipe, they actuate operates the charge and apply the reach for the locomotive bra brakes. Cutout cocks. The following cutout cocks are located on the locomotive. The main reserve cutout cocks located on the right side of the locomotive near the main reserve reservoir. The one of the first, um, one is for the number one main reserve. The one is for the number two main reserve. The main reserve drain cocks, one located on the end of each of the main reserve, usually the part of the automatic drain valve. The air filter drain cocks are normally located on the rear of the fuel tank on the filter, on the auxiliary air filter, and on the front of the fuel tank. The control air cutout cock located in the air brake compartment is part of the reducing valve five. The controlling air reservoir drain cock located in the air brake compartment with the wall towards the rear of the locomotive. All right, figure 16 shows the air brake um, um, rack. Shows the front of the locomotive with the um, the control air, the hull in tow, and the control air reserve drain. Six, the brake, brake cylinder cutout cocks located on the right side of the beneath the locomotive platform, one for each of the truck. Air compressor governor cutout with the cock located in the air compressor compartment accessible to the right side of the locomotive. Seven, eight, the um, sand control cutout cocks located behind the doors above the platform, both ends of the locomotive cutout. Nine, the cutout cocks on each end of the locomotive. Figure 17, um, a brake pipe cutout cock. BP and main reserve for equalizing MR, actuating ACT, independent application release, IAR, labeled AP, um, hauled to the tow cock located in the air brake compartment, adjusting the valves, controlling air, um, reducing valve to the, to the valve, maintaining the predetermined pressure for the air supply with the operation reverser, brake switching, pneumatic contactors, closed adjustment, adjusting screws, increasing pressure, normal control, air pressure on 70 pounds. Alright, um, so it's figure 17, locomotive end connection. Um, show the dummy receptacles, um, and the multiple unit control brake pipe, BP, main reserve air equalizer, independent application relief of the label, the API, uh, actuating ACT. Those are on the left side of the, of the locomotive end connection. Location following the described alarm with the safeguard may be found in figure 3A and 3B of the locomotive's at locomotive at location of the apparatus. Circuit breaker is operative with the toggle switch of the open circuit breaker. The manual type of the breaker is achieved with the magnetic thermal. The type of the magnetic breaker toggled move from the out position during the circuit breaker overload. Thermal breaker toggled move from the center position during the circuit overload mode. The note the changing with the circuit breakers is only the thermal circuit breaker is achieved, although the other is are magnetic. When the electric overload is clear with the breaker, the reset is valve with the magnetic top breaker toggle is moved back to the on position thermal. Thermal brake and toggle is moved to the office and then to on after allowing the few minutes for the thermal element to cool. Color indicating lights and bells. Color indicating lights for the on the engine control panel that are visually the means of the use to indicate the condition, operation, and existence full or abnormal situation where the fault light comes on, a warning bell will be sound. The warning bell will sound all locomotives in 30 seconds will follow the curves. It will take the locomotive offline but not shut down the engine. If the engine is shut down, the alarm bell will sound continuously until the isolation switch is placed in the start isolation position. The fault light will stay on the effect of the unit. All right, indicating lights on the engine control panel, figure 7, the following functional description and indication of the lights for the engine control panel. Ground relay trip the white with indicates the ground of the fault with the main power circuit. If the alarm bell will sound with the before 30 seconds, the power will be removed. The engine speed will go to idle. Ground relay operating concurring with the crank of the engine indicates the ground of the control circuits reports the condition. The ground relay, ground relay and overload relay resets must be done, um, may be done, reset may be done either automatically or manually to this to the time. The main method is dependent. Will depend upon install the equipment as specified in the railroad. Automatic reset without automatic reset of equipment install the either or both relays will reset the three times of any of the action part of the operator. The equipment will automatically lock only out, out after four ground relay actions with specified period of time. Isolating local modes are after four consecutive trips. Manual reset of the reset the push button located in the upper control compartment to take the engine offline and two the depress of the reset button. C the advanced control locomotive for throttle handling if the ground relay or overload trips and staying continue normal operation of the running of the reduced speed engine speed may may be helpful in for the ground relay or overload relay operates for the fourth consecutive time the effective locomotive must not be operated um isolating the locomotive turning the engine control switch to the pro applicable isolation switch isolating position sorry no when the ground relay cut off switch with the grco with an open locomotive but it will not operate with the diesel engine will continue the running of speed but the call but the by the throttle handle the general field circuit will be open operating re relay trip the white when indicated for the transition cover and continuing overload condition for the main alternator field circuit the alarm bell will sound with 30 seconds power will be removed the engine speed will go at idle 
More probable cause of the operation with the relay with the traction motor flash over the perhaps resulting from the full power over operation over the railroad across excessive speed, other conditions caused with violent motor shock. Sending overload relay done is temperature pressing with the same button with the reset of the ground relay following the instruction step one B above. Um, three, no battery charge blue with it if the engine with the running with the engine control switch is in the run position. The light indicates the, um, the light indicates the battery charging equipment has been failed. The alarm bell will sound continuously when the first startup of the, the unit with the battery switch is closed. The no battery charge with the charge light may come on until the engine is started. Under these conditions, this is not considered a fall. The light remains in the after the engine is started. Within the problem is the battery charging system. Self load box white indicates the self load box toggle switch in the upper control compartment. If the load box position the locomotive will not operate with the normal only all right, engine over temperature for the red, but it indicates the engine lubricating oil water temperature for the bulb of the XC, but the self um, safe maximum operation condition for the alarm bell will sound 30 seconds of power to remove the engine and return to the idle. And examine the engine controlling water level, the temperature in the gauge, check the speed, check the filter cap, and ensure the secure of the regain the power engine speed, but the engine temperature holding relay must be manually reset. Under normal operating, current, operating condition, the relay must only be reset with the maintained forces. Procedures directed with the railroad rules with the situation occurred with the sick of the governor shut down yellow indicate the engine low oil pressure low water pressure condition that have become severe to, that it's unsafe for the engine to continue running in the most circumstances the actual shutdown will have proceeded been preceded by the engine developing less power with the running of the low air engine RPM but the alarm will be sound continuously with no battery charge with the count light come on the engine will not crank with the governor shut down with the holding the reset if the cause of the lack of the water after filling the system with the reset with the governor shut down hold the relay restart of the engine if the cause of the lubricating oil from the the oil shut, leave shut down. Current creates overpressure for the R red indicate for the serious engine fault that ex exists. The engine will shut down the automatically. The alarm below will sound continuously with no battery charge light will come on in figure 18 charge. Caution to prevent even more of the ex extensive engine damage caused for the shutdown must be determined by the fault corrected before the um any attempt is made with the restart of the engine. Do not open the door of the engine, the room, the area. Engine air filter to indicate for the engine with the air filter that are plugged with the dirt. Other material must be changed. The power is removed. The engine speed go for the idle alarm will be sound. In 30 seconds, press the air filter reset button with the engine control panel to restore the normal operation after the fault is corrected. No trouble may be covered with the paper or leave the other materials obstructed for the engine air filter. Air intake screens that are either both si uh, either on both sides. Clear away such debris if the device trips um, try twice leave the locomotive in the proper Isolation switch note. Even the zero two filters, the engine may be um, may operate with less than full power with full traction after the um, effort can be developed, but not, not but not full power. Engines uh, uh, no early stage of the air filter cleanliness um, can be observed on the surface of an uh, indicator mount, mounted on a high right side of the locomotive near the radiator of the figure nineteen engine running with the full speed with the red with the band inside of the indicator becomes visible. The air filter is starting with it to get dirty with the red and the rare red band locked for the plate for the side portion of the indicator. The surface of condemning limits have been released, particularly about 30 days of operating the remains before the engine will automatically go into idle reporting the conditions. Then hot diodes red indicate the safe operation temperature. One or more of the power rectifier plans um, panel that has extended seated, but the alarm will be sound with the four of the 30 second power to remove the engine stream will return with the idle. The temperature sent for the rectifier panel with the reset with the automatically sufficient cool to press with the hot diode reset button with the IC panel to restore the normal operations. Automatic alarms and safeguards. This shows the crankcase overpressure of the middle of the um, other side of the governor. The crankcase overpressure switch from the return fuel glass side glass on the motor. No, the trouble may be caused with the paper leave with other material obstructing the equipment blower or um, air by intake screen for either both sides of the clear way. The source of the debris and another possible cause of low through missing inspection cover the main alternator. Place on as possible proceed as directed by the railroad rule for the situation occur. The diesel engine overspeed red with the 1983 later. Models only indicate that either the oil pressure of the overspeed system is low through the trip of the over speed system that actually engine the overspeed has occurred to the reset of the 1983 later up model with the pullback of the laser sh shaft handle. Bearing over switch. The bearing over switch figure 14 located under the cover of the engine but bearing over switch feature behind the engine over the speed the governor of the speed switch prevents the engine from being cranked when the engine bearing over may be in progress for engine over speed shutdown. In the event over speeds um, the engine's over speed is 1160 RPM but the engine shall shut down automatically over speed shut down with the engine moving the engine control switch to the start. Reset for the over speed mechanism than pushing the knob over the engine speed for the governor figure 14 axis to the left of the weak walk away near the main um, alternator under the engine control governor of the knob that only comes out about one eighth of an inch problem perceive the start of the engine described in the start in the engine section if the overspeed again engine over if it overspeeds again do not restart the engine all right figure 19 show the engine air filter service indicator um 
pressure and temperature gauge that control air gauge located with the air pressure brake um, compartment and normal air pressure for the 70 psi intake manual full air pressure gauge optional located with the engine star station is applied with the normal reading of the fuel engine speed fuel loaded to 28 to 32 psi with the b37a with the um, engine diesel pressure gauge optional located with the engine star station uh, start station if applied with the open on the current locomotive with the normal fuel pressure idle with the 40 psi with the fuel load of the 25 to 36 psi lube oil pressure gauge the optional located with the engine star station if applied with the normal lube, lube oil new pre pressure with this at idle to 25 to 35 psi full load of 90 to 155 psi with the um, minimum low oil pressure for the idle is at 10 psi pressure near the this level should be reported upon restarting the engine if the lubricating oil pressure does not build up within 45 seconds shut the engine down water temperature gauge located on the left side of the water short shank with the figure 20 with the normal operating temperature is 170 to 185 degrees fahrenheit other low gauge if the engine lubricator oil dipstick on one of the both sides of the engine the stick must be from full of the low and low Marked with the full and low, with the proper level of the engine idling is between full and full and low. No oil fills are provided on both sides of the engine. Overfilling will cause the engine to shut down. Excess with crane creates pressure. Fuel oil side glass mounted on the both sides of the main fuel tank that indicates the level of the fuel tank. The cooling water the water level of the side glass mounted with each side of the cooling water storage tank indicates the level of the cooling water. Makes the near side of the glass indicate the proper level of the various condition of the system. When the filling of the system, adding of the water, retreating of the compound, with the proceeding according with the instruction maintained of the water storage tank that is near the fill cap of the figure 20. No, never check with the water level that under the water, but the side glass is stable and not foul full of the air bubbles or foam. The water is flowing through the side glass of the main with the means of the water is in the radiator is in the radiators and the engine has not cooled down to enough to check the proper water level the warning to avoid personal harm with the water burns and never remove the water fill cap when the water level is above full at the idle mark if the over full if the over full open main drain valve at the lower level compressor loop oil the near, uh, dipstick near the fill cap of the indicator in the crankcase is full and how much oil is needed to begin with it bring the oil level to the full mark figure 11 the oil level may be checked with the engine running five traction alternator gearbox the dipstick mark with the empty add full in the case of the oil level, the proper level is between add and full of the engine stop and figure 13. Figure 20 shows the water tank, storage tanks, um, shows the water tank, vent valve with the pressure cap of the upper water level, the side glass on the water tank right side. Um, Fan gear unit oil level to maintain oil level near the spill over the fill pipe figure fill pipe figure third twelve of the engine shutdown. Governor oil light and level to spill side glass located on the left side of the engine near the traction motor figure ten oil level must be visible near the mark over the side glass of the engine is running at idle. Our figure twenty shows the water tank storage details show um, more on the water tank lower water levels low, lower water level side glass water tank left side water temperature gauge. Cars to prevent serious equipment to damage if they never start the engine when the engine governor has been properly surfaced with the governor lube oil. Passing through water, do not pass through the water that is above the rail. Passing over the railroad crossing, do not pass over the railroad crossing of the full power with the traction motor flash over the main result. Reducing the power, moving the throttle handle to notch forward with all the locomotives that have passed over the crossing of top engines. Move the lead unit of the throttle handle to the idle. Open the generator field, circuit breaker, and the control stand of the lead unit. Move the engine control switch with the start, the push, the stop button to the train on the engine control panel with the, to shut down all the engine multiple unit operations. Move the throttle handle and any locomotive equipped with the shutdown position on the master control. Throttle handle position must be returned with the idle before the engine can be restarted. Caution. After the locomotive is operated with under the normal condition, the engine is run idle at least five minutes before the shutdown of the down, otherwise immediate shutdown after the switch. Such operation can be harmful to such engine, engine compartments requirements of brief idle idle uh, time. Figure 21, a cooling water system drain valve. Show that the water tank is the right hand side of the number two valve of the water drain valve handle. That's um, drain water, drain and cooling water system. But the diesel engine shuts down the freezing water. Freezing water can not be restarted. It must be drained with a difficult site with the result of the um, difficult site. Controlling the drain instruction post within the locomotive to cap to ensure the proper draining of the preventing of the component from freezing up. Operating of the trail locomotive with the air equipment and setup. Make sure the necessary of the multiple unit brake pipe with the hoses of the end of the uh, end hoses are properly connected with the cocks open. And Figure 22. Electrical equipment set up. Le le leave all the circuit breakers in the closed position on the engine control panel to run the light circle. The breaker may be the position of the desired control. Circuit breaker must be turned on and the lead locomotive only if the control breakers on must be all, all other control breakers must be off. The place of the multiple unit headset, headlight set up switch in the proper position. Play for the engine control switch in the run position. Type up oper to operate with other local type of locomotive. If the locomotive, the locomotive consists of the gear of the differing maximum speed, do not run the speed of the except for the recommended locomotive having the lowest maximum permissible speed. Similarly, do not 
operate low speeds long enough to exceed the speed of the traction motor minimum continuous speed or short time ratings of any of the locomotives in the consist that can, in the cons that it consists. The locomotive with high horsepower per axle will develop more tractive effort at a given speed, but that will then um, will the, all the units lower to horsepower per axle. Figure 22 shows the air brake rack um, on the side of the truck. Control air of the engine feature with the cutout cock, the main reserve equalizer, brake cylinder pipe. Um, uh, control air reserve drain. drain. On GE units equipped with the automatic power matching for the control, the power is automatically reduced to lower level under a certain condition when they operating low locomotive speeds. All right, see figures 23 through 26 of the flow chart. Figure 23 of the flow chart describing the engine control governing operating with the condition of locomotive under power. Figure 24 shows the flow chart describing the engine control governor operating with the condition of the locomotive in dynamic braking. Figure 25 shows the flow chart describing the engine control governor operating with during the diesel engine starting. 20 figures 26 shows the flow chart describing the engine control governor operating with during the hot engine occurrence. All right. Um, this shows the modulating engine control governor flow chart. You start here full throttle with the full speed with the power of the um, 40 psi with the water and 12 p or um, the less than 40 psi, greater than 40 psi, but less and greater than 12 psi. All right. If no, um, if the pressure with the tube with the 40 psi loop with the 12 psi, um, yes, the loop water control switch is closed. You either have your um, 1960s time running with the annual light with a loop of the water with the um, break of the seal, the main restraint that light goes then to report it. Also, if you have the loop water governor switch closed, the power reduces the two three quarters of the level of the engine the EGR. The, this produces the, the pressure does, and then the pressure does. Right, if you have the throttle full speed with the power of the 40 psi with the greater than the governor switch is open when the pressure of the rise with the DU of the loop of the water is uh, equal to 15, modulate the load and speed with the higher level. All right, from the pressure that go, uh, um, the pressure goes up the modulate load and speed with the, of the. Uh, all right, sorry, I read that backwards. So the pressure goes up and when the then the pressure goes up, modulate the load and speed of the higher level when the pressure rises to the level of 50 water, 50 water, then 15 the governor switch opens. All right. Um, modulate the load and speed. Lower level the loop of the greater than um, less than four psi or way more than then. Governor shuts down the engine. Um, engine control panel. Governor's latch for the for the unit manual. We set after 19 seconds for the engine out. Governor speed loop with the, the solenoid. Governor start for the reset. But the main when the governor reset switch open to then the governor um, GS. Start and the normal governor reset crank locked until the G governor reset. Um, then restart. That, um, start here the fuel engine speed with the dynamic brake with a loop of less than 45 psi, but water um, water greater than 12 psi. All right, it, it, if the pressure drops to 45 psi um, of the lube or 12 psi lube, um, if yes, be the water with the governor switch. Then you either have 19 seconds of the water time one or the dynamic brake which reduces to zero, or I can't read that. And then the last one showed the modulating engine control switch flow chart. Um, this one should be a little easier to run. Engine starts and the push of the old engine start button with the GSHGR reset engine control starting with the engine control. Governor times at 45 seconds. If the loop is greater than um, 10 psi and the water is greater than 3 psi, yes, the pressure of the right. Um, go to the um, engine running at idle speed and pressure rise the lube of the water when the engine crank starts. If the lube is, if the governor time is 45, if the engine crank starting is, the lube is, um, lube governor switch closed for the 19 seconds of the time around the annual, and the an, annual light with the lube of the water with the brake seal with the manual reset the light goes from port. If the lube of the water switch closed with the governor shuts down with the engine light with the engine control panel with the governor latch for the unit with the manual reset. After the 19 seconds of the energy dive with the governor speed with the governor start with the fast re reset when the governor resets the switch will open. There's somewhere between the engine governor shut down with the engine light with the engine control the governor switch latch for the manual reset when the governor resets switch open the start normal the governor reset. The manual governor GSDHR reset then goes back to the reset with the governor shut down the engine light engine control panel with the jet latch for the manual reset and the cranking of the locked out until the GSD resets, then restart. Hot engine control start. The full speed with the full power with the dynamic brake lube with the water within greater than um, less than 235 degrees. If yes, uh, if yes, lube the heat to 235 degrees. No, um, then um, if the water heats to 235 degrees, uh, yes, 10 minute time runs. Um, 
All right, the loop. We'll read the loop first. Um, loop the east of 235 degrees. Yes, a 10 minute time run, run, runs the annual light with the light with the brake seal with the main, manual reset. Then report. Um, also, the power brake for the loop eats of 235 degrees power and brake reduces to three, um, about three quarters of level. Wait until before the oil is cool. If um, the lube eats to 245, no. Wait for the oil lube to cool. If yes, hot engine latches until the management resets the go to, get, go to no load and alarm bell with 30 seconds idle speed shaft and 30 seconds wait for the, for the cool down. All right, water heats to 235 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, 10 minutes to I'm running the um, the hot engine rats for the unit, uh, unit manual reset with either the no go no load or alarm bell switch of the manual ESTHR reset engine. Um, hot engine relay latch for the unit manual reset no go the alarm alarm normal power dynamic braking system restored and then back to full speed power dynamic braking. Then we have notes and more note pages, and this is, once again, this has been um, the operation manual of the General Electric Diesel Electric Logo B37A model cabless.